Hello, this is Any Kid Can Tech, and today I will be showing you how to set up a Raspberry Pi 3 with the BME 280 pressure, temperature, and humidity sensor. You can use this as a weather station or attach it to a drone and capture data. I used it as a safety check on my equipment. This is a super easy project and I hope you enjoy. First you will need, of course, a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B, such as this one I found on Amazon, which comes with a case, a preloaded noobs SD card, and other accessories. All the links that I will use to buy all the needed equipment and find the code for this project will be down in the description below. You will also need to get a monitor that has a HDMI port, such as this one off of Amazon. You can also use a TV if it has an HDMI port. You will also need an HDMI cable like this one, and a keyboard and mouse that have USB cables. It's always good to have a quality power cable with a built-in on-off switch for the Raspberry Pi, like this one on Amazon. To connect the sensor with the battery, you will need a I2C shield with a port, such as this one on controlleverything.com, which brings you to ncd.io. The sensor that I use is the BME 280 sensor, which reads pressure, temperature, and humidity. I also bought this on controlleverything.com, which is linked to ncd.io. The sensor comes with a free I2C cable, but it's always good to have a few extra. And finally, it's always good to have power strips, such as this pair on Amazon. So here we have our monitor with a HDMI port. And here is our Raspberry Pi 3 and a preloaded SD card from the Amazon counter kit. Then from controleverything.com, we have a BME280 sensor with some extra I2C cables. We also have a I2C shield with a port over here. Then over here, we have a keyboard from Amazon, the USB cable and a mouse with a USB cable. We also have a um, quality power cable for the Raspberry Pi with a nice on off switch and over here we have a HDMI cable for the monitor and then finally we have our good power strip. So now we are going to start to set up our Raspberry Pi. Just a disclaimer, there should be no electricity involved until this is fully set up. Be warned that the cable that comes with the Raspberry Pi is always turned on. So my recommendation is to not plug anything into the wall until we are done with the hardware. So the first thing that we're going to plug in are the USB keyboard and mouse. So we're going to take the USB um, cord and plug it into these two USB um, ports. So to do that, I'm just going to slide it gently in. Great. So now that that's set up, I'm going to take the preloaded SD card. So just be like, warned, this is super duper fragile and um, you should be really careful when handling with it. Okay. So here it is and you can see that there's kind of like this yellow kind of like computer on the bottom. And when we're sliding it in into this port right here um, on the bottom, just make sure that that yellow is on facing the Raspberry Pi when you slide it in. So very, very gently sure just slide it in like that great so now we are going to take the HDMI cord and the other side of this has already been plugged into the monitor so we're going to take that and carefully slide that into this port right there so carefully just like that great 
So now we're going to take our power cord, the nice on off switch, and we're going to carefully slide that in, just like this, into this port. So we're going to carefully, like that, great. So now that all of the cords are all in, everything's all set up, it is now okay to turn on the electricity. So I'm going to turn on my power strip, just like that, great. I'm going to turn this on. So you should see this red light right there. So that will bring us to this screen. So it says Raspbian recommended. So we are going to click that and then we are going to click install. So Raspbian is the operating system for the Raspberry Pi. So we're going to hit install, we're going to click yes, and this will take a while. So on the bottom, you can click your language and um, just wait until this percentage bar fills up. Great, so now it's all successfully installed. Now this code will run. Great, so now we have our Raspberry Pi 3 all set up and ready to go and for our BME 280 sensor. So first we should um, set up the Wi-Fi, which we can do by clicking on this icon in the type top right corner. So click on that. And then I'll choose that and we'll type in my password. Okay. So now the Wi-Fi is all set up and ready to go. So now we have to enable the I2C. So to do that, we'll go into preferences through this little raspberry icon in the top left corner, click on preferences, and then Raspberry Pi configuration. So then go into interfaces, and then on I2C, go to enabled, click enabled, and then click OK. Great. So now, um, just shut off your computer so we can put on the sensor and the I2C shield. So shut this down. Then I'll click on this and this. So now taking the I2C shield and carefully slide it on top of the pins and make sure the port is facing away from the USB ports. So like this. So very carefully, making sure that all the pins are covered. Just sort of slide it right on to there. Great. So now we have our I2C shield on it, and now we're going to do our BME sensor. So the um, I2C cable that they gave us, you should plug it in onto the right port on the sensor. And with the brown cord to the right. So like this. So now just plug the other in and into here and like that. And now we have our BME 280 sensor attached to our Raspberry Pi. So 
So after a quick reboot and making sure that the light is on on both the sensor and the I2C adapter, um, we are now going to start coding. So now we are going to create a folder for our code for our sensor. So to do that, just go up here into the folders icon up in the top left corner. So click on that. And then to make a new folder, right click, create new folder. So I want to name mine pressure sensor. You can name it anything you like, but that's what I want to name mine. So there it is, our nice brand new empty folder for our code. So I'll just minimize this, and to actually get the code, you want to go to controleverything.com and the BME 280 sensor um, on controleverything.com. And to get the code, just scroll down from that page, which the link will be down in the description below, and scroll down to code libraries. And then click on that, and then go into BME 280. So that will bring you to GitHub and just click on this bright green button that says clone or download. Then download zip. Okay, so then just go into this, your folders, and go down into download. So you should see your BME 280 master zip. And now we want to extract all of the folders from there. So I am going to um, double click on that. And now to extract, just click on the name and then click on the little extract um, icon up here. And now I'm going to extract it to that folder that I made earlier. So I'm going to put in the name of the folder, pressure sensor. So this is the name of the folder that you made before it. So in my case, it's pressure sensor, but it may be different for you. So I'm going to hit extract. And then I'm going to go up here and then into the name of the folder that you made earlier, so pressure sensor, then BME280 master. So now you're going to go into Python because that's the um, code that we're using today. And then you should see the code that we're using, BME280. So now we are going to move on to running our code. So to do that, I'm just going to minimize these and go into terminal. It's that little like, black icon in the top left corner. So here's our terminal. So now I am going to change directory or CD to the name of the folder that you have made before. So pressure sensor. In my case, it may be different for you. So pressure sensor. And there it is. So now PWD just kind of shows you where you are, and you can see that I'm in home pi pressure sensor. So now to see where we are, just do ls or list, and you can see we want to go into BME280-master, so do cd BME280-master, then PWD shows us where we are, and we're in home, pi, pressure sensor, BME 280 master. And we can list. And we want to go into Python because that's the code that we want to use. So do cd python. And then pwd shows us where we are. And we're in home, pi, pressure sensor, BME 280 master, python. And then ls. And here is the code that we want to use, bme280.py. So to run it, just do Python, 
and then the name of the code. So BME280.py. And here it is. So it shows us the temperature in Celsius, the temperature in Fahrenheit, and the pressure in Pascals, and the relative humidity.